I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on limits as x approaches infinity. The question for you here is evaluate limit as x approaches infinity for x squared divided by x plus 1 minus x squared divided by x minus 1. Now let us see how to evaluate it. So the question is limit x approaches infinity and what we have here is x squared over x plus 1 minus x squared over x minus 1. Now let us simplify this a bit because these things could become really complicated. So what I will do here is I'll take x squared common. Okay, x squared common. So what we have here is 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1. Correct? Okay, now we can take common denominator. So we have limit x approaches infinity for x squared. And the common denominator here is you multiply these two, x plus 1 times x minus 1, cross multiplies. So we have x minus 1 minus x plus 1. Is it okay? Further, we could simplify the numerator as you can clearly see. So we have x squared x minus x is 0, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2, right? So we get minus 2 over x plus 1 times x minus. Let's do it in steps. I get this plus and minus. Okay. So that's what we get. And let me just rewrite this here. And then we'll further simplify on the right side of this page. Because I'm going to use some tricks now. So this is minus 2x squared for us over x plus 1 times x minus 1. Is it okay? Now let me see how to solve this question, right? So now here <clears throat> I'm going to show you a technique of factoring out x and then simplifying this. So I'm just copying this question here. We have limit x approaches infinity of minus 2x squared divided by x plus 1. I could take x common, right? And write this as 1 plus 1 over x. Do you see that? Similarly here, I could take x common and take 1 minus 1 over x. Do you get an idea? Factor out x in the denominator. Why did we do so? Because we want to cancel out these x squares. Do you get an idea? So we are kind of moving slow to understand the concept here. Any rational functions like this could be actually solved like in this process, right? So, so I'm not missing any steps here. In some of my videos, I've cut short. Now, look at it. We have x squared and x squared in numerator and denominator. It could be cancelled, right? So we could write this also as equal to limit x approaches infinity of minus 2 over 1 plus 1 over x times 1 minus 1 over x. Is it okay? Now what happens when x is approaching a very very large value? 1 over x approaches 0, right? And therefore we could write this as minus 2 over 1 plus 0 times 1 minus 0 and that is minus 2 1 times 1 is 1, and so we get minus 2 as our answer. Do you get it? So these are kind of steps which you could adopt to solve such questions. And the result is before you, minus 2. I am Anil Kumar, and I hope you appreciate how to find limits of such functions. You can always share and subscribe my videos, and keep posting questions as you have been doing. Thanks to my subscriber for sharing this question. Thank you and all the best.